You come back. Okay? You come back to me. And I'll make all the bad things... Because you remember what I was like when you met me and... Hey. Hey, Tammy. Hey. Hey, am I dreaming here? No, 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 I'm here. Hey, you're here, baby. You're awake. You're awake. I'm here. And you're gonna, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna, you're gonna get better, okay? You're gonna get stronger and stronger and better and more awake. And then pretty soon the doctors are gonna come in here and they're gonna say, hey, gorgeous, you gotta get out of that bed. We need that for sick people. <laughs> and then you're gonna come home with me. You have to. I mean, we're married now. It's part of the, yeah. <laughs> part of the bargain. Shh. You just have to keep the faith, sweetie. Just keep the faith. Okay. Nobody knows that better than I do. <laughs> Everything will be okay as long as we keep the faith. Hey, she's awake. What did I she's do? Away. She's awake. She's awake? Yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. You did it. Did what? You, you brought her back. No, no, no. This she is did. this is something a little bigger and better than me, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> we gotta get someone to check on her, nurses and, and doctors and okay. Sarah. Honey, just rest. Okay? Sarah. Hey, Sarah's with Lizzie. And Alan. Right. Right? Don't worry about it. It's gonna be no. okay. No. She doesn't belong. She doesn't belong with him, not with him. Tammy, stop. No. You. She belongs with you. Go get her. Get her right now. Bring her here. Bring her. Please. Please. Family. Destiny. Light. Hope. Charity. Friendship. Love. Faith. Laughter. Joy. Kindness. Understanding. There is a destiny that makes us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. I mean, I was, I was nervous. I didn't know. Tammy's got more guts than I do. More guts, more strength. It's gonna be okay. Well, you know what? You need to save your strength, too. You're gonna need it. For when you go after Sarah. Uh. She shouldn't be worrying about her right now. She should be taking care of getting better. But if that's what gives her hope, you get that little girl away from the Spaldings. No, well, it's not gonna be easy. Not now that Alan has his hands on Sarah. He's not gonna give her up without a fight. Well, then that's what he'll get. But I just don't wanna... I don't want to leave here. I don't want to leave Tammy, you know? I'm going to be with her every second. I will call you if anything changes. Okay. All right, come on. Let's do this. Quick, we deal down. Quick, we get back to Tammy. I'm not just talking about my kid anymore. I'm talking about Tammy's life. Mr. Spaulding, I'm ahead. sorry, but you have a visitor.
Jeremy, I thought I made it very clear that I didn't want anyone entering this house without... A green light from you. Is that it, Alan? So what's up with the fortress mentality? I'm a cautious man trying to protect my family in uncertain times, Reva. Did your publicist come up with that? Not that I blame him, of course, for wanting to protect such a beautiful little angel like Sarah. Hi, sweetie. Then what do you blame Hi, me sweetie. for, having her here in the first place? Well, you know, the court did rule that she rightfully belongs with Jonathan. Jeremy, take uh, Sarah to the nursery and make sure that Hilda watches her at all times. Yes, sir. Well, Reva, anything else? I guess it's only natural that we worry about the kids in our families. So much can happen to them in the blink of an eye. Yes, I heard uh, that Tammy's in critical condition, and I think it's very, very tragic. She's awake now. Can she communicate? She's still very weak, but we're keeping our fingers crossed that she'll recover. Well, where there's life, there's hope. Kind of what Sarah is to you, is that it, Alan? Reva, I'm not the only one in this room looking for redemption. Amen. So, in the spirit of doing the right thing, Alan, let me take Sarah to see Jonathan and Tammy. I thought I made it clear to you that I don't care what the court said. Do you care that Tammy's hovering near death? This isn't about a court ruling, Alan. This is about a life. I'm very sorry for what happened to your niece, but I am not going to compound this tragedy by handing little Sarah over to that brash, reckless... Jonathan is her father! And if it weren't for him, none of this would have happened. He did not cause that accident, Alan. Tammy risked her life to save him. And if he wasn't in her life, she wouldn't be near death's door right now. I will not give him a chance to inflict more pain on little Sarah. You're the only one causing pain around here, Alan. Let me take Sarah to see Jonathan and Tammy, the two people who need her most, who will raise her with love and kindness. Jeremy! And See our guest to the door. You want hope, Alan? You want redemption? Sarah can give you that, but you have to give up this obsession you have with her. She's not a trophy. She's a little girl. She's not some family project. Let her be with Tammy and Jonathan. If you don't, you're going to be doomed to making the same mistakes over and over and over again for as long as any of us can Goodbye, remember. Goodbye, Reva. No, no. I know my way out. You can't do this. Shut up. Oh, it's kidnapping. Look around. You're in a church, not the trunk of a car. I don't know which is worse. You and Tammy got married here, right? Is that why you broke in and dragged me down here to rub my nose in it? As if I had time for something like that right now. Okay, then what is this about? I need you. You need me? Yes. I knew it. I knew that if you would just let me back into your life. Are you nuts? Look, it's nothing to be ashamed of, Jonathan. You know, you just started caring about me more than, than you thought you did, and now you're realizing how much I mean to you. It's okay. Oh, look. You really are insane. You, you, you just said that, that you need me. How twisted are you? You took her to Alan. That's why he wanted to kill me. Jonathan. Yeah, I know what went down. I can't prove it yet, but I will. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about my wife lying in a hospital bed with tubes and wires sticking out of her. You and Alan did that. That's not true. Yes, it is true. No, it's not. You, bad girl. You're a liar. Tammy wants to see Sarah. She will. That is the only reason you are here right now. You took me. Yeah, there's too many people watching, Sarah. Maid, butler, just like Reva figure. Give me your cell phone. Give me your cell phone!
Mr. Spaulding, there's a problem. What now? Miss Elizabeth is gone, sir. Gone? Jeremy, I thought I made it very clear that no one is to enter or leave this house without... It's Elizabeth. Elizabeth, where the devil are you? She's with the devil, and man, is he ever pissed. You had better not harm her. Well, she's fine, so far. Won't be for long, unless we come to a little agreement. About the baby, huh? My baby. I should have known. Reaver was just here wanting to take her, full of platitudes, when it was nothing more than a diversion. Didn't have to be a diversion if you'd have given her the baby like any decent person would have. You know, there's a law against kidnapping, Jonathan. Yeah, and attempted murder. Let's not get technical. Bridget, help me! Put her on. You can talk to her. She will be fine soon enough. We need to make a deal first, though. Lizzie for Sarah. That's fair. Child for a child. Come on, Alan. I don't hear you jumping at this. Lizzie for Sarah. Great, Dad, he won't hurt Sarah. I think he's crazy enough to hurt me. You're bluffing. You don't think I have it in me to hurt Lizzie after what the two of you did to Tammy? No, I don't. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Because my wife, the woman I love, is in a hospital bed right now in critical condition because of you. Granddad! And all I have to do is think about Tammy struggling to take a breath or get this overwhelming urge to smash face it! What's it gonna be? Your call! Let me get this straight. I'm to hand over Sarah, the brightest new star in the Spaulding family, for... For Lizzie, yeah. My granddaughter who married you and turned against her own flesh and blood, then had me committed to a mental hospital because I tried to help her. Yeah, that's the one. Well, my answer is no deal. You're gonna leave her hanging. He said no? He said no? But granddad, I'm, I, I'm scared. I, you love me, I know, but you do give him what he... Gra granddad! He hung up. Hello? Him. You guys are exactly the same. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are, because you both have been playing this sick chess game, and I am just a pawn in it. So, is Sarah. I love my daughter. I'm gonna get her back. Good luck. Tammy needs to see her. Tammy needs to see her right Tammy now. Tammy needs. Tammy needs. Tammy needs. Tammy needs. <gasps> is that all you can think about? What about what I need, huh? You made a vow to me, Jonathan, and it may have been a joke to you. It may, may have been an act, but it wasn't for me. You promised me that you would love and respect and take care of me for the rest of my life. Lizzie, that was a joke! Well, nobody's laughing now, are they? I have got news for you, Jonathan. If I can't have the family that you promised me, you are not going to have your precious, perfect family that you want. How's that for a deal? What do the doctors say? Nothing yet, but I have got a really good feeling that she's past the worst of it now, you know? <laughs> I really do. What about Sarah? It's out of my hands. I know that one. <laughs> so, how is she? Resting comfortably? 
Isn't that what you say when a patient's been stabilized? <laughs> well, your daughter has remarkable strength, Mrs. Winslow. Medication's done all it can for her. Uh, meaning? She's asking for you. You look good. How are you feeling? You, you have to... You have to be there. Honey, uh, of course I'm there. I'm, I'm camped right outside that door until mm. you're better. Not, not me. Jonathan and Sarah. Sorry, sweetie, I'm not following. You have to be there for them. What's going on? Why are you doing this if Alan's outside? No, Alan. Alan doesn't even know that she's gone yet. Oh, you know what Granddad's gonna do? No. If you leave. <laughs> Let them be. No, 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 no. Well, you and me, me and Sarah, we can, we can run away together, away from my trust fund to, to kick in, and then we'll, we'll all be safe. We'll no. all be safe. Lizzie, yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Mom! What's in this for you? Because I care about that little girl. And living in that house with that man is no place where she deserves no, better than that. No, no she was my little girl in case you've forgotten. No! I haven't forgotten. But you have. What? Oh, you no. used her as a bargaining chip to hold on to Jonathan. When you, when you left her in the car in your desperate attempt to make everybody believe you were suffering from postpartum depression, but most of all, when you enlisted Alan's help, knowing that he is capable of anything and everything. Why did you do that, Lizzie? Why? Beth, thank you. Tammy and I will never forget this. No. Neither will I. No, I love you. No, 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 I didn't do this for you, Jonathan. I did this for my baby. No. The one that I lost. And the one that I hope to save. No, no, this isn't the way to do it, Mom. No, no, she needs to be with her mother. Come on, Lizzie, no. we gotta go. No, 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 no. Somebody who loves her. Yeah. Somebody who'll put her first. <laughs> right now that excludes anyone named Spalding. No. Come with me, Lizzie. No, no. no. Lizzie. I'll get home. Why are you doing this? No. Let me go. This brought me one thing, John. Don't cut this out of Sarah's life. Deal. That's no. not it. You listen to me. You are going to get well, honey. You are. It might take a little time. That's okay. We don't have to rush it. The day's going to come when you're going to walk out of here. And you and Jonathan, and well, Sarah, you're going to stay with me for a while until you're 100% ship shape. And then you're going to move into your very own home. Home. Yeah. You remember that uh, that old Geiger house on Clover Hill Road? Copper. Copper Beach. Yeah, sweetie. That's right. The one with the huge Copper Beach tree out front. The one you've been in love with since we moved to this town. <coughs> it's yours, sweetie. I made an offer on it as a wedding present to you. 
I know, I know, I know. It's a, it's a lot more house than we ever got to live in when you were Sarah's age. Before all the foster homes. And... There was so much I couldn't give you back then, honey. And not just material things, but time and attention. Because, you know, I was just so busy trying to make sure that we'd survive. I, I left out the part where I made you feel safe and secure. Well, you gave me everything. Uh, everything that matters. Oh. Yeah. Not your sweetness, though. Your sweetness, you come by all on your own. Hey, you know what that copper beach is going to need? It's going to need a swing. So you can push Sarah on it. <laughs> and the kids that you and Jonathan are going to have together. I can already hear them screaming, Mommy! Hire, Mommy, hire! <laughs> and I know, I know I was the one who was 100% against you and Jonathan. And that I said you'd never have a happy ending with the guy, but I was wrong, sweetie. And I know that now. Mommy. Mommy. I'm sorry, sweetie. That happy ending. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have that. But if it doesn't happen. Shh. Tell me. If it doesn't happen, take care of Tom. You're gonna be fine, honey. You're gonna be fine. No. Yes. Honey, I am still your mother. And I will pull rank with you if I have to. You're gonna have that happy ending because if anyone deserves one, it's you. Tammy. Hey, Tammy. <laughs> She needs you. What happened? I don't know. We were, I was talking to her and she was squeezing my hand and then she just went limp. She's resting, honey. She's just resting. I don't think so. Cassie, they're going to do everything they can for her. I can't. This is what she needs. Trust me. Hey. Look who's here. Sarah. Yeah. Oh, Sarah. Wouldn't have done that for just anybody, you know? Only my wife. I love. I love being your wife. Well, you better. You better love my little munchkin here, too. I'm gonna go bring her out to Riva, okay? You rest, and be back in a minute. <sighs> it was looking bad there for a minute today, wasn't it? Wow. But hey, look at us now. Shh. Sarah's here, and you're awake, and you're reaching for it, you're touching her. I mean, I would call that a good ending to a bad day, wouldn't you? You are so beautiful. Look at you. There's gonna be a lot of good days from now on. Me, you, Sarah, three of us. Hey. Tammy. Hey. Hey. Excuse me. What's going on? She got worse, didn't she? Since I've been gone, she got worse. 
Well, help her? Can you do something? Can... Okay. Sorry, we've tried everything we can. Her injuries are very severe. No, 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 no. She's just awake. She just spoke. Two minutes ago, she smiled and touched my face. She touched my daughter. She's gonna be okay. Jonathan. Don't touch me. You don't give up on her. She will make it through this if we stick with her. Yes, Father Ray, good. Perfect timing. Reinforcements. Dr. Rose asked me to come. Well, we'll take what we can get. John, what? What, you come here to... Look, I understand how upset you are. You understand how upset I am? You marry us, and now you come here to throw in the towel? Jonathan, Father Ray came to help. Help? Yes. Help? By giving up? You're no better than they are. You. You. You got some. You got some racket going here, don't you? You marry us in God's name, and you make these amazing promises about a wonderful life. Now you figure that same God wants to take everything away, and you expect us to pray to him for that. Ain't gonna happen, Father. Not the praying, not the taking away. I know your pain. You don't know anything! God would not let Sarah grow up without somebody like Tammy to love her and teach her. There are questions only God can answer. Oh, okay. Is that faith? Is that what you're saying? We're supposed to have faith? That's why we have faith, Take Jonathan. your faith and shut it John. and shrug your prayers. Johnny, honey. No, this God of yours, this God of yours, he can turn water into wine, right? Yeah, he can move mountains. He can put stars in the sky, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, if he can't save the one good true, disgusting world. I say, screw him. Tammy. Hey, it's me. You hear me? She looks real. She's been through a lot, Cassie. I'm going in there. No. Not yet. This is their time. Don't you give up on me. You are not allowed. We just got started. Sarah's with Reva. Thank you. Thank you. For bringing her. No. Have I ever been able to say no to you? Never. Yeah, you got that right. Say it again, babe. Better be. Gonna be together for a very long time. Jonathan. Why am I going anywhere? I might. Don't say that. It's okay. It's okay. When I, Tammy. When I'm gone, I'll still be with you. You're gonna be fine, okay? Come on, you just need to rest, and then you're gonna feel better. Everything will be great. So, so much good in you. So much love. 
It's only for you, honey. No. No, don't. Don't you hide it. She needs it. You're out there, girl. Sarah. I want you. Hey, I want you. Tammy. Tammy, come on. Come on. Come on. Breathe. Breathe, Tammy. Just breathe. I'm not a Come on. Breathe. Come on. I know you're angry with me. I know you think I betrayed you. But Tammy may not live till morning. Seeing that baby may turn out to be her dying request. How could we refuse her? Get out. Jonathan said that he won't cut Lizzie out of Sarah's life. And I believe him. I also think that he'll make a good father. At the very least, he deserves a chance to find out, don't you think? I mean, considering what you... What we... have done. Get out of my sight. You don't give up on me. You don't give up on me. Tammy, I know it hurts. I know it hurts me asking you to fight when you just want to go to sleep. But I'm selfish and I'm greedy and I need you here. Tammy, we were meant to be together. That's just the way it is. That's the way it's always been with us. You know what that priest out there try and tell me? that we will be together someday, but... I can't wait that long. I hate being on this world without you. What am I supposed to do, go back to being the kind of guy I was before you met me? I can't, I can't do that. You changed everything. I'm stuck with it. And you are stuck with me. You are stuck with me. I am a lifetime project, babe. You know that. You know that. Come on. You bail on me now. I'll start losing ground. Start setting fires and throwing punches again. Is that what you want, huh? Tammy. 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 Who's going to straighten me out if you're not here, huh? 
who's the only person who can make me human with a touch or with one little kiss. Come on. You. I want you. No. 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 Get out! Get out of here! No, 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 Come on, 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 come Next on Guiding Light. Bill, you should have seen that son of yours. The way he drank his milk, he had it down just quick as a bunny. And then fell fast asleep. So what does Maida say? Is that a telegram? Yeah. I hope it isn't from... No, it's from Maida. Maida? Look, look, she's flying in tomorrow. What? Yeah, she wants me to pick her up at the airport tomorrow evening. That's surprising. I had a letter from Trudy today. I forgot to tell you about it, Bill. And it was Trudy's opinion that... Uh... Maida was planning on staying in New York indefinitely. I wonder what made her change her mind.